Hey guys, so today I have a review on the modded Shangshao Pyraminx. I got this Pyraminx off of Amazon.com a few months ago for around $10. I'll put a link in the description to where you can purchase it. And just before I start the review, I would like to say that this modification is not a modification I came up with. I saw a video on it on Oscar Roth Anderson's YouTube channel. And he is the world record holder, both the single and the average. So I thought that it would make sense that if a, the world record holder put a video on his channel about this modification, then it must be a pretty good modification. So I decided to try it out. It took me around five minutes to do this whole modification, which I think is pretty quick considering I modified a whole puzzle. But I also lubricated this cube, and that took a little bit of time. So, overall it took me maybe 15 minutes to completely disassemble, modify, and then lubricate this cube. So the stickers on this puzzle are the original stickers it came with. This is fluorescent red, bright blue, fluorescent yellow, and fluorescent green. The shades are incredible and I really really like them and they don't require you to have to change the stickers when you get this puzzle. The contrast is very good. And I absolutely love the stickers. So now getting into turning. This cube has a clicky feel, and the reason for that is because it has a ball mechanism which snaps the pieces into place. And I really, really like this mechanism because it doesn't, it like locks the pieces into place and makes it so that you don't overshoot or undershoot which then would, would require you to have to corner cut. Speaking of which, this cube does, does corner cu cut. And I'm sorry, it's not a cube, it's a puzzle. This puzzle does corner cut. But it's really not necessary because of the mechanism. Um, not only does this middle layer have that sort of mechanism, so does the tips. And I really like how the tips have this mechanism because when you're when I solve it, I I grip it like this, which kind of holds on to both the tips and these pieces right here. So if the tip isn't locked in place, my finger would like shift it, and that would make it harder to grip the puzzle. So, I really, really like the mechanism, and the modification definitely helped this puzzle become more fast as well as fluid. It definitely seems a whole load faster, and I really, really like that. And more fluid. I don't mean smooth because smooth would mean that it didn't have necessarily a clicky feel and of course this is going to have a clicky feel. But it's very fluid meaning that it feels a lot faster and it moves a lot better. So I really really like that feel about this puzzle. So now I'm just going to show you the modification that I did, as well as the pieces. Okay, so as you saw there, I actually had to use a screwdriver in order to get to disassembling this puzzle because this puzzle does not pop at all, whatsoever. I've never had it pop on me during a solve and I don't think I ever will. And that's for a few reasons. As you can see, this piece right here 
is a lot bigger than that gap right there. So when this piece is inside of there, it makes it virtually impossible to be able to just rip the piece out, let alone have it pop during the solve. So the mechanism works really well in keep preventing pops. So now getting to the modifications that I did, I didn't do anything to the tip, although in Oscar Oscar's video, he did modify the tip, but I didn't find it necessary because I believe that these tips move really, really well. So I decided that it wasn't it wasn't necessary at all to modify the tip. But if you would like to modify the tip of the puzzle, you can just watch his video, like I said. So getting into the modifications, one of them was to remove the excess plastic on this puzzle. There was just a little bit of extra plastic that was on this edge piece and I simply took an exacto knife and I just scraped it off. I'm sorry that was out of frame. It would be right here and you would just scrape it off. And if you don't have any excess plastic, then of course you don't have to do this. And then the other modification that I did to this, this piece is that I simply took a nail file and I rounded it off on these four points right here. And this was not in the video that I watched, the modification video. However, I thought that maybe it would help because it would. I was hoping that it would work somewhat like the 48 point edge mod on a 3x3. But I realized after, afterward that it probably did not have the same effect due to the ball mechanism. However, I still recommend you doing it because I think that's what made the inner layers feel more fluid. And then the last modification that I did is that I rounded this piece off right here. And you do it on all three sides. And you simply rub it on a nail file or sandpaper for maybe 10-15 seconds and it will round it off a bit and it will help the cube corner cut as well as with some catches so I'm just going to do a few solves now okay so as my final thoughts I would definitely say modify this cube it took maybe 15 minutes total and I definitely think it was worth it also Please ignore the background music during these next few solves and don't make fun of me because I really stink at Pyraminx and I edited out a bunch of my best solves because I'm just that bad and these are my best solves out of my solves that I did. So just ignore the background music. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.